welcome to info media updates so today we try to discuss about retinal variables it is a part of data science variable means value suppose in languages we are we are taking the values as into a comma b into x comma y here a comma b and x comma y these two are the variables integer is the data type so variables means values retinal means retinal this term came from retina retina is the part of eye so nowadays we are using the retina as the authentication purpose suppose if you are registering for a new aadhar card in this case they will take your 10 fingers uh, thumb impressions and after that they will take a photograph and after that they will take the retina scan of your eye also so these we are using the retina for authentication also but retinal variables it is a different concept first of all we can analyze the object we can understand the object in different different ways suppose by sensing means by touching the object we can simply analyze the object and by watching the object we can analyze the uh, object some in some cases we can experiencing the object in different different ways so experience by experiencing Uh, we can analyze the object and by watching we can analyze the object and by sensing we can analyze the object for sensing helen keller is the best example she is a great poet so retinal variables so today we will discuss about it retinal means visual understanding how we can analyze an object by watching only so i try to explain it with example also but these are the properties see here we can easily identify and analyze the object by its size size of the object and color color of the object orientation shape of the object color saturation and texture size so we have different different sizes first of all we will take a color here every object have some color like a blue green magenta white black whatever it is and color value we have only two types of color values one is light and there one is no light that's it either colorful or colorless either light or dark that's it and the size large small thick thin very large like these all are the every object have some sizes and shape also circle rectangle diamonds and some objects have shapeless also and orientation means angles and degrees so here the 45 degrees angle is playing the major role in our real time life the reflections are working with the help of 45 degrees angle only and texture dashed lines and polka dots so the textures are helpful to analyze a graph we can easily analyze the data set by its values we can take that values on graph and by seeing the graph we can easily identify the total data set within minutes or seconds so here dashed lines means the simple lines polka dots means those are dots and uh, the dots will increase uh, uh, the increasing dots means uh, one is the smaller one next one is the uh, medium and after that large so like that so simply these are the properties by using these properties only we are simply analyzing an object now i will try to explain with uh, one example see here here i have taken one example as adani enterprises so this is the simple um, and best example for our subject so the adani enterprises today it has given to 0.26 percentage of profit here but today in the morning 915 the stock starts with 1840 range and it it has increases up to 1860 also and the, the same way it has performed in down trend down trend also it has touches nearly 1800 rupees and after that and finally it has ended in the green only how i am analyzing this total data on means by simply watching this graph only so that is the that is called retinal variables by watching the simple graph only we can 
simply analyze the data here the color also playing major role color is one of the property to understand the object in retinal variables suppose the green color indicating the profit here red color red color is indicating the loss here and the middle color middle dotted line or dots are indicating the starting price of the stock so these are called visual uh, understandings these are the variables color is the variable dotted line is the variable and uh, price graphs these all are the variables to understand the data easily so now we trade uh, now we take another graph here suppose this is in baseline graph now i am taking the normal line here see we cannot understand the suppose if a new person directly watch this uh, graph then those people unable to understand this graph if you have knowledge about the stock then you can easily identify that the upper one is the profit uh, profit one and the down one is the uh, last one and the middle one is the starting price of the other enterprise stock but if a new person suddenly watch this he, they, uh, those person cannot understand directly and see here i am changing the graph structure here these are the candlesticks introduced by japan country so these candlesticks are simply everyone mostly um, the stock market analysts are mostly use these type of candlesticks only here you can take the 5 minute candlestick and 1 uh, minute candlestick and uh, 15 minutes uh, candlestick also you can take here so this is this is the total candlesticks of a single day so the green color indicating the profit and red color indicating the loss so by watching these candlesticks we can simply easily identify the stock movements so this is called visual understanding by watching the stock only by watching the graph only we need to understand about that particular uh, data so simply this is called retinal variables variables means values means uh, properties so thank you this is the example for retinal variables and subscribe my channel